is Pastor Philip Denke here from Bradford Miracle Centre and I'm here just to minister to your needs. The miracles that Jesus Christ wants for the believer and for those that come to him for the first time are always the same and Jesus Christ wishes to give that miracle to you this very hour. And so he uses us, uh, his representatives, to bring this miracle to you. Sometimes there are blockages. Today's miracles don't come by the hand of Jesus. They come by the hand of those he sends. And he sends them with the power of the Holy Spirit. And I'm just one of those people. And the Lord has used me in the last 30 years to heal many people and do miracles. Not just healings, but miracles. Miracles in your life, miracles in your family, miracles in Whatever it is, and cast out demons and break bondages and sins and habits that, uh, and rituals that prevent you from having a normal life. Jesus wants the best for you. He really does. And there's many blocks and blockages that stop you from getting these things. It's called grieving the Holy Spirit. Because the miracles come through the spirit realm now, they have to come from the Holy Spirit into the natural realm. And so to do that requires your spirit to be correct with God. Now, if you're respectful and humble and you put your life right and do whatever you can to, to, to please God, uh, just, I mean, instantly, then you're ready and receptive to receive the miracle that God wants you to have more than anything else. God wants you to have a miracle. God needs you to be well, strong, healthy, and focused upon a godly life. These are the things that God created to be this way in the, in the, in the very beginning of time, and he wants to restore them now through Jesus Christ, his Son, and through the advent of the Holy Spirit being given to this world. Now, I had a man who was full of boils, but he couldn't receive. The next day he came to me, after I prayed for him, I knew he couldn't receive. Holy Spirit told me that he would not receive the healing, but to bring him the next day and talk to him. So I did. He had such a bitterness towards people because they killed his wife. He, they murdered his wife. And so he, he held that bitterness and couldn't receive from God as a result. Not just in healing, but in all of his life, really. But healing was the thing that he came to me for. Now, we led him through a prayer of repentance. Even though he didn't want to do it, he willed to do it. And when he willed to do it, he got totally healed. I had another man that came in who had a broken back with a hunchback. And he came and he repented of doing something against the church, against the believers. And he was instantly healed. Both of them were healed within the hour. The instant healing as a response from God. Put your life right. Put your heart right. Do what you know to be right before God. He asks for nothing more than that. Put your heart right, tear it, just do whatever you would to do to show the most respect in the world for this living God. Walk in the light that you have. He doesn't ask for anything more. If you don't know how to do it, he doesn't hold that against you. He just wants you to give him the respect that he deserves so that he can actually penetrate your being and bring you the healing or the miracle or whatever miracle it is that you desire. I will tell you, God, do the impossible. The reason that many people don't receive these things is because they hold some bitterness, unforgiveness or pride in their heart. They will not repent and they rebel and they do not submit. Even believers, even people who minister healing. I've had a man that had prostate cancer and I told him that he was full of pride. He was a minister and he ministered healing to many people. But I warned him that he's going to die. And the reason was he could not submit because he had walked in pride for a long time. 
you have to be careful with the Lord. Uh, there are some rules in this business. But if you're simple and honest and you've got a true heart, you'll receive everything, everything, everything that God wants for you. And he wants everyone to be healed, delivered and set free. So I want to pray this prayer with you after having said these things. If there's any blockage in your heart, please remove it now. I want to pray for you to remove it, in fact. Just join with me. Put your hand on that computer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, I just pray that you will manifest yourself to this woman, to this man, to our friend, to our brother in Christ, sister in Christ, and show them what they are doing that blocks you from penetrating them with the miracle they desire. And set them free, Lord, so that they can receive freely. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And if you said that prayer with me, and if you believe it, now I'm going to pray for a miracle for you. Oh, Believers sometimes are the most stubborn people. They think they put their hearts right, but they haven't. No more korinde kanjini katakasiki. Get back to your first love, the Lord says. When you were in love with me and you put me first, then everything came to you. I have many things to say to you and many things to manifest myself and my glory for your being. Okay, that's speaking in tongues and interpreting, and that was the Lord speaking through me. I see a leg that needs to be healed, a leg. Makoto mahinse nekishtike, now healed in Jesus' name. I see someone with gastroenteritis in the name of Jesus be healed in Jesus' name. I see someone with a diabetes and a perforated diaphragm healed in Jesus' name. I see someone with a, a, a esophageal Cancer of the esophagus, in Jesus' name, be healed, and it's healed. Right now I see someone schizophrenic. Now, come out, in Jesus' name, and it came out, in Jesus' name. It came out, in Jesus' name. You believe it. It's true. It's true. I see ear, ear manifestation. Ear healed, in Jesus' name. Eyes healed, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Be healed. Anything I have not mentioned. Now I pray for you. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Receive the anointing. Receive the Holy Spirit. Who brings you the healing of Jesus Christ today. Receive it now. Receive it well. Ankles. Strengthened. Bones. Osteoporosis. Healed. I see gastric cancer healed in Jesus' name. I see, I see, I see blood vessels being healed now in Jesus' name. Right now, you receive it in Jesus' name. <laughs> the devil's a liar, and let me tell you, he is defeated. Defeated. Oh, my God, please bless these children, your people. Bless them now. Give them the greatest blessing they could ever have. Bible tells us in 2 Peter 1 verse 3 that God has provided us with everything for life and godliness. It's yours, beloved. God bless you. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it. God bless you.